Hey, what's up growers? Welcome back to the channel. So we've all heard of the old growers tale, 48 hours of darkness, boost, potency. But what if I told you that popular advice that I may be guilty of giving in the past could actually be hurting your yields? In this video, we're cutting through the noise and exposing the real science behind charcoal development, light and darkness. Get ready to rethink everything you thought you knew about maximizing your plant's potential, and let's get into it. Trichomes are more than just frost. They're the factory for cannabinoids like THC and CBD, plus terpenes that give cannabis its aroma and flavor. Every decision you make in the final stages, light cycles, temperatures, even stress techniques, affects these tiny resin glands. For years, growers have debated, does putting plants in 48 to 72 hours of total darkness before harvest really boost trichome production? or is it just another myth that refuses to die? Today, we're unpacking the science and replacing guesswork with clarity. The darkness theory is built on two main claims. Number one, stress response. Without light, plants panic and produce extra resin as a defense mechanism. And number two, cannabinoid conversion. Darkness supposedly boosts THC conversion and terpene preservation. The problem? Hard data doesn't really support it. Peer-reviewed research shows no measurable increase in trichome density or cannabinoid concentration. From prolonged darkness, uh, in fact, darkness halts photosynthesis. The plant stops making sugar, slows metabolism, and begins consuming stored energy. That means you could be robbing your buds of final weight and resin maturity. Any perceived frostiness boost may simply be the normal ripening coinciding with the dark cycle, not the dark cycle causing it. So let's get into the power of light in trichome bi biology. It really is astounding stuff. Instead of asking what happens when you remove light, let's talk about what light does. Charcombs are protective structures. Plants produce them in response to light stress, especially UV radiation. UVB, between the wavelengths of 280 and 315 nanometers, uh, shows that research shows UVB exposure stimulates trichome density because resin acts sort of like a sunscreen. PAR spectrum, or red and blue, drives photosynthesis and secondary metabolite pathways that fuel cannabinoid synthesis. Light intensity, uh, especially with high intensity light in flower, within safe limits of course, correlates with higher trichome coverage and THC content. Modern LEDs with UV diodes or supplemental UV fixtures can measurably boost trichome production. This isn't folklore. This is plant biology. So let's uh, see the evidence against the dark cure. Several controlled trials in horticulture, not just cannabis, shows that removing light late in the cycle does not increase secondary metabolites. Instead, extended dark periods can reduce carbohydrate reserves, leading to lower bud weight, reduced terpene retention, and increased risk of mold in highly uh, hu humid darkness, which of course is not the best thing for your, for your harvest. In short, darkness doesn't supercharge trichomes. It potentially robs you of finished product quality and weight. So what really matters? With trichome production, it isn't controlled by a single trick. It's a system influenced by multiple factors. Genetics, frosty strains like Gorilla Glue, White Widow, and the Cookies lines will outproduce leaner genetics every time. No trick overrides DNA. Temperature and humidity, late flowers thrives at between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit with a 40 to 50% relative humidity. Cooler nights help preserve terpenes, and for the darker strains like Granddaddy Purple, those colder environments, especially at night, can really bring those purples out, make them pop. Our nutrients, adequate potassium and micronutrients are crucial for resin pathways. Overfeeding late can harm quality. 
Harvest timing. Maximum potency happens when charcombs are mostly cloudy with between 10 and 20% amber. And if you want a more indica effect, you would just increase that slightly to about 30 to 40% amber. As cutting too early or too late will cost you. Dialing these in has far more impact than any lights off hack. So what are some tips for maximizing trichomes? Here are some real strategies backed by science. Use full spectrum lighting with UVB supplementation and late flower. This will boost trichome production as again, these are protective structures that mostly are made in response to light stress. Keep environment stable. Avoid heat spikes and high humidity. This will get rid of your uh, terpene profile and reduce quality. Run cooler nights. Near harvest, uh, this can protect and again, preserve terpenes. Flush excess salts, but don't starve the plant. You have to let it finish strong. Choose resin heavy genetics from reputable breeders. And if you haven't seen my top seed banks video, I would definitely recommend that. You may see that in the top right, but if you don't, it should be in the description below. These factors deliver repeatable results. Darkness may not hurt severely, but it's not your secret weapon. Light and environment are. So looking ahead, and by the way, that is a real microscopic image of trichomes to the right. Uh, the science of trichomes is still evolving. Researchers are still studying. One of their methods is precision light recipes dialing nanometer specific spectrums for a cannabinoid boost, uh, plant stress signaling, understanding which stresses trigger resin without harming yield, and genetic editing and breeding, developing cultivars with higher gland density by design. The future isn't about blackout myths, it's about precision control, lighting, environment, and genetics working together the best results will come from data-driven cultivation, not tradition. So in conclusion, the 72 hours of darkness trick is more myth than science. Real trichomes gain from optimized light, steady environment, and smart genetics. If you want frosty, potent buds, don't rely on folklore, rely on what plants actually need. Well, that concludes today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I tried to correct some mistakes I might have made in the past. I did want to thank you for watching. If you did like, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.